welcome back to my channel it's amber dairy and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel it's been a while i know it's been a while it's been like a year i think the last video i probably posted was i have posted i think i have posted like when i first mm, when i announced i was pregnant on youtube but then i ended up deleting it. i didn't really like the video um so the time before that i think it was like when i cut my hair that was like a year ago a lot has happened since then a lot has happened and this is my new blessing right here this is my baby girl mila yes say hi mila she is the most precious like this girl will smile all day long hey mama um yeah a lot has happened i had a whole baby it was a complete different experience for me this time around. My pregnancy was amazing. Um, I had no worries my whole pregnancy. I was working prior. Y'all don't even know. I had a new corporate job. I was working for the government. I was a public affairs officer. I ended up resigning when I got pregnant. I don't feel like that job really aligned with me. Um, shout out to my man because I was able to really like just enjoy myself and take care of myself mentally and physically i was able to go to the gym in the morning i was going to orange theory fitness maybe like three times a week um back when in the beginning of my pregnancy <clears throat> but yeah i was going to orange theory fitness in the beginning of my pregnancy i was just you know just living a nice soft feminine life and i love that for me i was able to stay fit thank you god like i pretty much lost a lot I pretty much lost most of my baby weight already. Um, I'm a little thicker down there, but as for my stomach, like it's pretty flat for the most part. I just got to tone it up. My pregnancy also at the end, I was like really, 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 I was scared because they found an amniotic band inside of my sack. It, oh my goodness, y'all. I was so shook. Like, cause when they told me, it's a whole nother story, and I'll probably do a story time on that one day, but long story short, I had went to the dating scan for her, and they pretty much were, so, they were supposed to call me, like, the next couple days to tell me they found an amniotic band. They did not tell me anything until my next appointment, which was, like, a month and change later. So, if I needed, I needed to go to the high-risk doctor from then. But I wasn't able to go until they told me, which was a month and change after. I ended up changing OBs because that was ridiculous. Um, I was going to Gen Care in Atlantic Station. And before that, I had a couple problems with them. They just never, like, updated test results. And it was just a couple things that I feel like they weren't on top of. But that was the icing on the cake. So I ended up changing OBs. But yeah, so I switched. And then... I had to start going to the high risk doctor at the high risk doctor they pretty much told me that it wasn't affecting her but i did have an amniotic band inside of my sack so luckily it didn't affect her but i was super scared because babies could lose their limbs um amniotic band syndrome could be a very serious thing what i can say is when she was born she had like this deep 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 mark right here on her face and um that was from the amniotic band it was like pressing right against her nose i thought she was affected by that but luckily it was just like a bruise from the band Oop. my new ob that i went to it was amazing i ended up having a water birth which is like it's finally time i am having this baby within the next 24 hours my water broke this morning and I thought my water broke last week, but it didn't. Um, it was really, I don't know what it was, but last week I thought my water broke. They had tested the fluid and it wasn't my water. But this week, today, baby girl. So I am planning on doing a water birth. That is the pool over there. When I'm more dilated right now, I'm three centimeters. You got this, right? Oh. You got this. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what 
I went all natural, which I'm so proud of myself. And yeah, she's here. She's healthy. She's beautiful. And I love you so much, thick booty. But yeah. Um, and yeah, I moved to France. Which I know that's mad crazy. I just... It's a lot going on, you know? Like, I moved to France. Um, my boyfriend plays overseas. And he really, really, really was not going for not being there for every step for his daughter. So... I made sure that I came out here for the season to support him and so he can be with his baby girl. Um, so yeah, I've been out here for a month and change now. And France is very different. I have so much to vlog and so much to show you guys because it's a complete different world where I live at. Um, but yeah, I live in Nancy currently, which it's like a small town. But yeah, right now it's All Star Week, so I'm vlogging and I'm gonna be doing a lot of content while I'm out here in Paris. It's my first time, so I'm excited. My other daughter, Navea, she is not here with me. She is in um, Orlando currently and she might be there for a little bit because she's having trouble with her paperwork with her passport she's spending some time with her grandma right now which her grandmother is so happy and she's so happy because she never gets to spend time because we live in a whole nother state yeah but yeah i gotta get back into making videos y'all it's been so motherfucking long like i just i gotta get into it i gotta get into it it's it's different you know I completely, you know, you got to get back in the groove of things. Like, I'm trying my best to get back in the groove of YouTube and vlogging. Like, I mean, did his thing this season, and he went crazy. So, he's playing an All-Star Week in Paris, which is amazing. Holidays, and I get to spend it in Paris. So, we're going to spend the New Year's out here and everything. The game is tomorrow. Today's the 29th. And, um... Yeah, he, right now he's doing press and media, and I'm about to head out. Mommy is on the streets, okay? He gonna come back like, where is this girl at? But we out. Fuck the world, I'ma walk in erection. Speed without a thought, we do it reckless. You nigga call us texting. You say, baby, don't be mad, you know how great it is. Something you're mad. Good. And then hello, who's this on her shirt? 
Put that on her, on her shirt, she? Mila. Who is she? That boy stepping and rapping, huh? Rapping and stepping for your mommy, huh? Ask like your mommy who, who she know doing doing shit like this. <laughs> you okay, mama, think of booty. Who stepping for the ass like that? Yay. You know how many people seen this shirt? All Yay. the media, everybody. We're home this new year. We have a newborn. She's healthy, she's beautiful. And she's full. We're so thankful for her. We have a new year of more life, more blessings, more health, more happiness. No tox toxicity. Please. None. Please. Zero. Please. Zero. Zero toxicity. Zero pride. Zero pride. Showing our how much we value each other, mm -hmm. our family, our knowledge. Uh, cheers to a better year than 2023. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers to us. Love, family, happiness, health, wealth. Mm -hmm. Black love, family. Mm -hmm. And Thank more God. life, baby. Thank you, God, for keeping us here. Our baby girl is getting her ear pierced. <sighs> Very exciting moment for Mila. I'm, I know daddy probably not gonna watch. He don't like seeing stuff like that. I don't wanna see my baby girl being hurt. Yeah, so I'm probably about to hold her. And yeah, we are at this little mall. We are back in our hometown. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in our little hometown. Um, they got some nice little bags in the display. Guys, look at the little escalator. It is stroller friendly. I love that for us. Mila's up. You ready, Mila? Daddy's not ready. ready. Think about Are you ready? No? You tired? Okay. Yeah. I think clear this this way because I remember it was walking past. Look at Sephora, y'all. You know how I feel about Sephora. I want to go there again just because my man probably over me in Sephora, but oh well. Yeah. 
blood in the pressure. So expensive. Ooh, you in a long line at the pharmacy and your baby's crying. Someone says, shut that baby up. <laughs> what do you do? Shut that baby up. <laughs>